वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन परपसिव और जजमेंटल सैंपलिंग जनरली साइंटिस्ट से दैट दिस इज नॉट अ साइंटिफिक मेथड बट प्रैक्टिकली देयर आर सिचुएशंस यू कैन यूज दिस परपसिव सैंपलिंग इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैंपलिंग टेक्निक्स आई डिस्कस द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नॉन प्रोबेबिलिटी सैंपलिंग टेक्निक्स as mentioned in that lecture in purposive sampling also we are not interested in representativeness randomness but it is good to calculate the minimal sample size here you select the sample based on your knowledge or your credibility if you are an expert of the research field you can think that right this is the good sample these are the people that i must select but here that you are introducing a bias called selection bias because you are taking whatever the people that you think as good if you are wrong so totally wrong sample so that's why scientists say that this is not a scientific method but if you are the expert you might be able to get the best sample you need to have the idea about the political situation of the country and you think that this village has many people who are supporting the blue party and this village has many people who are supporting the green party but this village is comparatively there are blue supporters and green supporters based on your knowledge you can select that village as the best sample another example is you need to study about the thinking process of the students who are really good in mathematics in a class generally we have students at different levels they are good in mathematics they are weak in mathematics as mathematics need an intellectual involvement for solving problems you are interested in finding out the thinking process of good students in such case you don't want to do a random process of all the class you just select the extreme cases those who are really good in mathematics those who have higher marks in mathematics for your research and you can conduct in your research or else you might be interested in what are the problems why these students are weak in mathematics to identify that thing you have to select students who are weak in mathematics and you can conduct research you purposefully select the students with low marks but another important thing is if you need to identify the problems associated with weak students you always need to compare that with the best students if they are economically poor and they are also economically poor if you assume that poor economy of these students is the reason for this weakness of mathematics it is wrong because in these students also their economical status also weak like that in purposive or judgmental sampling you can select a sample based on your own knowledge you can minimize the cost you can minimize the time however it is difficult to generalize your findings but if you do not need to generalize the findings you can select purposive sampling if it is compatible with your own objective